Okay, if we look at uh, Vegas, uh, they're bad. So they just came back, Daniel. I told Alex this. So I was on the train coming back from the city. My phone was mm-hmm. on one percent. So I was listening to Friedman and Merrick today, on um, Jeff Merrick show before my phone died, and I heard them talk about the stat from Vegas's road trip. And uh, because I forgot I had a notebook in my bag and I didn't want to open my phone and it died, I wrote on my hand the stat that Vegas went zero and five on their road trip. Only to forget as I was leaving the train, I got some because you know how the go trains have the uh, moisturizer thing to start using it. And I realized I smudged it. Um, so it's a bit smudgy. Um, I mean, sanitizer, not moisturizer. Yeah, no sanitizer. Sorry. sorry. Like Imagine complimentary lotion. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I've got some. I've got my moisturizer here, actually. This is my fancy one uh, that I stole from my mom anyway. Uh, but no, it's it's Vegas have been. I think statistically, I don't. I know points percentage wise, they're out. I haven't looked at the standings today, so I don't know if they're out of the playoffs. But they are on a downwards turn. A lot of players are hurt, uh, and some guys are not playing well. And I know that we can blame Jack Eichel for obvious reasons. The guy hasn't played, um, but it is it is looking rough. It is looking rough in Vegas right now I, for the I, first really, time ever. Funny, yeah. Thing. If they lose, if they don't make the playoffs, this is going to be like historic in their franchise history. <laughs> Literally, that's true. I'm really First glad. I'm, missing. I'm really glad the guys in Buffalo are uh, the reporters in Buffalo are just eating this up. Oh, I'm it's so I'm it. I'm so happy for them. They have something nice to talk about. <laughs> I mean, you know. I mean, okay. Like, I guess this was bound to happen. <laughs> where uh, we've talked about it before. Where there were the, a lot of the injury scares. Um, we were looking at okay, what is their depth going to look like when they were so top heavy, and then you take away one guy like a Mark Stone, or even you take away a Robin Leonard who's been injured, and just yeah, look at how this team is. Like, I'm not saying Laurent Brassois is bad. I'm just saying that the number of games he's been playing is just not suited for his skill set. Leonard has been hurt. That's why. It- yeah. It's crazy what happens when two top six wingers, two top four defensemen, and your starting goalie go down. And like, you trade the Vesna caliber back up. Yeah, no, that that's true. I think there's uh, some re- revisionist history on that. I don't, I don't like that. That he the, was the better the big, goalie. No, I okay. I under I understand that, but for the last how many years we've been talking about Robin Leonard. And so you handed him the keys. He now can't handle he not that he can't handle it. He got injured. Yeah, he's and now it's like, oh no, well, I mean, you should have kept the goalies for $13 million. Like there, there was or $12 million. There was clearly cap implications there. And they went with the younger guy and the guy they already had tied for term. Like I get why they traded him and i get why people are pissed but don't turn this around on if they had mark andre fleury mark andre fleury could be the guy who's injured right now uh, uh, i'm picking on them they traded him for nothing i know I, I fully i fully get that and the blackhawks might get a ransom for him i'm gonna make or they might get nothing a hundred percent they get above a fifth they round all... pick then they already got more <laughs> that's true I mean, no it's a know, it's a low bar yeah, I mean, it's it's you know, but anyway, I know what you mean. I, I'm being picky about it, but but still, it's it's. Listen, I'm I'm gonna rip on Vegas. They deserve it. I think it's oh, hundred percent. It's like the midseason makeover, right? Um, I think we didn't talk about the Alex Tuck factor, where he was a solid top nine guy for him for him at for them, and he knew the system very well, right? He only played a handful of games for the Wild before he went to Vegas, and I think that's just like a like from what. I've heard, and maybe there's just a bias from Buffalo reporters of a kind of locker room guy. He is the consistency he brings in as a power forward type of guy and just the chemistry that was there. And I think with this mid season makeover, I know, yeah, injuries aside, but I really felt like the Jack Eichel thing, it was going to take a lot of time. So for this, I wasn't surprised that we're, we're, we're talking about Vegas being in the situation. I'm going to turn it on you here, Daniel. I'm going to say this as I put do not okay. stare back on because for some reason, when you turn it off on your phone, it turns it off on the Mac if you haven't connected because that's dumb. Um, Cause I was listening to Jesse Granger on the athletic mm-hmm. covers, the golden Knights. And he was talking about a big guy. Who's a big presence is their captain, Mark stone. Who's been out with respect to Buffalo reporters, Alex Tuck, Mark stone, Alex Tuck. Then I, I mentioned uh, in my in my uh, original spiel, I said Mark Stone. Like that's a huge yeah. factor that it's 
can it's it undercut? Art. And not to mention, you know, the misfit line has sort of had to, you know, come up. Then Riley Smith got hurt. They've just been bombarded with injuries. That, and I don't know if Pete DeBoer is a good coach. I said it. I got coached by an interim. See, Suck it. We keep, I, I the thing with Vegas that is so interesting is um, when we talk about them, like as, as hockey Twitter, when we talk about them, we talk about them in the same way that we talked about them in the first year where, Oh, it's like this new expansion team. And because they're still so new, right. They're only what, five years old, uh, six years old. I can't really do math. 2017. They're not the same team. They might have some, some of the same players, Bill Foley, George McPhee, and um, now it's going to kill me. And Kelly McCrimmon are absolutely ruthless human beings. Yep. This is not the fun, oh, I pick, we took on the guys that nobody wanted. This is the team who year after year went out and got the best available player. You guys want me to read you their roster right now? Just, just for a bit of a laugh. Sure. Uh, so this is what Cat Friendly has their roster is right now. Brissois, the backup goalie is Logan Thompson. The defense, Petrangelo, good player. Um, Theodore, good player. Uh, Nick Haig, good player. Um, Dylan Coughlin, I've heard of him. Zach Whitecloud, we know him. Braden Pachel. Danil Miro. My good Mira, do, oh, I, I'll get it. Danil Miromanov, Romanov with M I at the first part of it. The four words: Eichel, Pacioretty, Carlson, Marcia. So even though Pacioretty, I'm pretty sure is still hurt. Uh, Marcia, so Dodonov, Stevenson, Carrier, Patrick. Okay, we we know some of those guys, right? Nick Waugh, uh, Maddie, I remember him. Uh, Keegan Colasar, Jack. Jake Lecisions, I only know of him because Lecisions with Dom was making a big point about that guy's name. Jonas Rangeberg, that's not a real person, and Paul Cotter. I'd like to uh, shout out, by the way, in that roster. Are you are you finished with the? Yes, roster? that's everything. Yeah. Okay, I'd like to shout out Logan Thompson, the backup goalie right now. He was a U Sports All Star before he make his he made his way through the yes, through yes. the THL, AHL, and then the NHL. His uh, fun fact: He has an eight ninety save percentage. In a I, I think I saw Ben uh, Ben Steiner tweet about that. Mm-hmm. Oh, about the U sports. Um, yeah, and uh, and he's been bad. Um, yeah, yeah, he's not Vegas. Been great. They need to, and people are starting to make it sound like there's going to be serious repercussions if they miss the playoffs. <laughs> Remember when we thought it was serious when they fired Gerard Gallant because Flurry was bad for a week? Could you mm-hmm. imagine what they're going to do if they miss the playoffs? Yeah, they'll probably uh, fire uh, what Pete, Pete DeBoer. I get, I would put a bet on it that DeBoer's gone. Oh yeah, if they miss the playoffs, first guy to go. Like, because if you if you look at that roster, if if you look at that roster when healthy, um, that's a cup winning roster. Yeah, 